All right, hey YouTube, it's Retro Sandman again with another tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, put um, for my GFX pack that I just released uh, yesterday. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use some of the stuff in that. Uh, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the uh, smoke um, stuff, how to use um, all the textures so you can get the optical flares. I'll show you how to use um, some of the smoke and the optical flares. So. Uh, I opened up a basic thing here. You can, I don't know, you might have a YouTube background up or something. You can edit whatever you want. Uh, I just have a basic 3D text that I made for a contest. But anyway, um, I renamed that to space because that's what text says. I'm going to make a new layer with a background and I'm going to drag it underneath that text layer um, and name it background or BG. And uh, this is all optional right here. You guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just kind of getting a basic thing going on right now. So uh, now that I have my basic uh, little uh, thing going on, hang on, let me center it up. All right. Now, uh, n now to get into the um, optical flares and the smoke, uh, if you come up to File, Open, and open up that uh, the GFX um, that I gave you, the textures, um, I have them in here already. Um, screenshots, flares. Um, open up any of the flare. Um, any of the flares that I gave you, I'm going to open up the four, flare four, um, and it doesn't matter what one you open, they all look the same, um, and it might be locked, so if you look over in your layer panel, it might have this little lock thing here, all you need to do is double click it, and it'll uh, just hit OK, and uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to hold control, and then click on the thumbnail over in the layer panel, and then we're going to hit control C, uh, control, v and then head back over to your uh, image and hit control V. And that will paste it uh, just like this. As you can see, now we have it. Um, but it's black. And there's a black outline. And we don't want this black around here. So we're going to change the uh, the uh, mode of it. So we're going to click on the little down arrow. And we're going to change that to screen. And now as you can see, uh, we have this little optical flare. And as you can see, you can still see a white outline, which we don't want. So if you get your eraser tool... And uh, you can change the settings of it. I have mine at 400, hardness at 0, um, the opacity set at 90, and the flow at 100. Oops. Flow at 100. And uh, I like to just um, kind of smooth out the edges. Make sure you don't erase the actual flare. And just kind of smooth out the around it. So it has a nice smooth edge like that, as you can see. And now we can place it wherever we want on here. I like to place it right on top of the text. Um, set it right down somewhere on top of the text, maybe in a corner, a point. Um, looks really nice, or anywhere for you guys, whatever looks good. Uh, you can set it there. And then if you hit, hit Control J, um, that will um, copy the layer. So then you can move another one around, place it somewhere. Say there, like that. Uh, ah, stupid um, snap. Uh, and then maybe you want one more or something, I don't know. Place it there. And I'll put one over here, I guess, on the S. Okay, now we have a basic thing going on. And as you can see, we have a couple layers right here. They're not named. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to hold Shift. And we're going to select all of the flare layers. So they're all selected. And then we're going to hit Control e which will merge them all together. And as you can see, don't panic, uh, it will do this. Uh, just change the mode back to screen. And that will set it all back to normal. And then you can rename it to uh, Flares. I like to do that. And uh, now what we can do, we can add some smoke to the bottom of our text. So I like to go to File, Open, and uh, find the smoke. If you guys don't have, I don't know if I added the smoke in my GFX pack. Um, but you guys might have it in, you guys could probably go to Google Images if you don't have it. And type in like, Smoke something like that with a black background so uh, here's my smoke um, I'm gonna grab this one I guess yeah this one's good enough I guess and uh, as you can see I got my smoke if it has a lock just double click it hit OK again hold control click on the thumbnail in the layers panel control C and then head back over to your image hit control V paste it like that and then we can change make sure we change the uh, layer the mode of it to screen and voila and as you can see, it has some hard edges right here. We don't want those. We want soft edges. So get our eraser tool. Um, very lightly, just kind of uh, uh, 
soften those out as best as you can. Like that. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to rotate this, um, flip it upside down. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and uh, Flip Vertical. And uh, now we can drag it down. And as you can see, we can just kind of put it right under our text. And uh, maybe you want to duplicate that a couple of times and maybe move it over a little bit like this or anything like that. And uh, it'll give it a really nice smoke effect. And then you can merge these two layers by holding uh, Shift and selecting them both. And then hitting Control e which will merge them. And then you need to change the mode to uh, screen again so it doesn't have those black outlines. And then you can rename it to Smoke or whatever. And uh, I'm going to kind of soften out these edges a little bit more because you can kind of see the hard edges on them. There we go. Move it up a little bit, and that's looking pretty nice so far. So that's kind of basically how you use the flares and the smoke in uh, Photoshop. Um, I hope you guys like this quick little tutorial. Um, it really gives it a nice effect to your images for, uh, I don't know, you might be using a YouTube background or a, just a basic old signature logo type deal, whatever. Um, but it gives it a really nice effect. So I hope you guys like this tutorial by Retro Sendman. And uh, I'll see you guys in my uh, next tutorial. Peace out.